Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and today I'm working on a new talk on a new product called Microsoft Data Explorer. This is a beta product, and um, I have access to uh, both the cloud version, which is a closed invite-only beta at this time, and the desktop client, which everybody can work with. So I'll be giving this talk for the SQL Pass Virtual BI chapter next month, or yeah, next month. So I wanted to just show you how I'm getting started with it, because I thought you might be interested too. So Data Explorer is a lightweight ETL and mashup tool, and there's both a cloud-based client and there's a desktop client. So for the cloud, you go to dataexplorersqlazurelabs.com, and then you sign in with your Windows Live ID, and then you'll get um, access to the cloud client. And that, the thing that you make here is a mashup. So you can see inside of here, I've got the little cloud, and I'm signing with my live ID. Now what I've done for the purposes of the video is I also started the desktop client so you can see kind of what that looks like. So let me just pull that down a little bit here. So you can see very similar. So this is the web client. And there's the web address and this is the desktop client. You can see there's a little desktop here and this I'm logged into my particular PC. So for the rest of this intro I'm going to just use the, uh, the, uh, the cloud client. So I'll just get rid of this. Um, when you're uh, trying this out, uh, the, the desktop client is very similar, but I just there's a couple new features in the web client. So here's the URL to um, the learning page for this. So you probably want to watch this video. Here you can download the desktop client, um, and it, you've got some uh, samples and things that you can work with. And uh, here is the team blog as well. So what does this thing do? Well, it creates uh, mashups where you can do lightweight ETL. So I click New and then click OK and then I connect to, can connect to various data sources um, and then do processing. So the data sources that I can connect to are uh, SQL, Web Content, OData, Windows, Azure, SharePoint, Files, um, another mashup. I can input text directly, paste, or use the formula. Now the formula is based on the formula language here, which is an expression language called M, um, and there, the spec has been published. So you can think of it as sort of a super duper Excel language. So if I wanted to import a file up to my uh, web-based client here, I just click import. You can see there's the, there's the uh, function language. Choose file. And then I'm going to go out and I'm going to take a big text file, which is, um, I think it's the Gutenberg Bible or something. It has a bunch of, bunch of words in it. You can see because it's a beta, they've got the asking for feedback here. Um, so uh, as this is uploading, um, and click done. Uh, it'll, it'll take a minute to upload because it's kind of a big file. You can see it's analyzing there. And then I can uh, take a look at the file and I can do lightweight transformation on it. And I can combine it with other data and then publish it on out. So I'm going to pause this video until the file uploads. So you can see I've uploaded the file here and now I get this uh, menu bar uh, where I can work with the file and I can uh, you know, click on the various items here that are uh, 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 it's context sensitive basically. And then I can right click and I can uh, go text, CSV, or JSON in this case, double click it to open it. You notice each time I do an activity, I get this sort of map of what's going on. Now, once I open it, then I, uh, uh, looks like this is Sherlock Holmes, I guess. Then I have uh, context sensitive items here that I can work with. So I can convert this to a table, I can add, um, you know, append, I can extract. Uh, values, I can search, so I can replace, transform, trim, split, so on and so forth. So uh, let's say if I said um, if I wanted to extract, uh, I don't know, I could, I don't, I'm not sure what I really want to do in here, but I'll show you in subsequent videos how I can do the transformation and then how I can merge and then publish out and consume this mashup. So it's a new tool. Um, I'll be uh, diving in, working on it over the next few days, so I'll make a series of screencasts, but I just wanted to show you how to get started. Um, this is the Data Explorer um, uh, learning page, basically on MSDN. There's some good resources here that I'll be taking a look at, and uh, like I said, I'll be doing a presentation for the SQL uh, Pass BI Virtual Chapter. So I'm Lynn Langett, and for more about all things data, go to www.lynnlangett.com. Thanks.